In this video, you can study how to carry out the rock index of the hose handling crane. At first, open the manhole of the crane housings and give ventilations, and issue the angle split entry permit. Measurement must be buffed on under no load conditions on the chip. This drawing shows the position of the chip and the point to be measured. Measurement should be done under no list condition of the vessels. The purpose of measuring the rock index is to continuously monitor the well tone of the student bearing. Make our recommend to carry out the rock index annually, buff some of the company carrying out the rock index at the every six months in double. In the ships, turn the crane to the both side firstly. After then, we will carry out the measurements. Ensure that the jib angle is in zero degree. Measure the distance between the machining surface and the bottom of the gear dish. And here, we can get it to the height. Subtract the height of the gear dish from the to the height, we can get the distance h. Distance H is the distance between the machining surface and the top of the gear dish. At the one chip positions, you need to measure two points. From the two-point measurement, you can get the two distant edge. By making the difference between the two different edges, you can get the well limit of the student bearing. The well limit of the student bearing should not exceed the 2.8 mm. If the well limit reaches to the 2.8 mm, make our recommend to renew the stream bearing immediately. And there is how to measure the height of the gear dish. Place the plate on the top surface of the gear dish and carry out the measurements between the plate and the bottom of the gear dish. Or you can easily find the height of the gear dish from the mega instruction manual. After then, turn the crane jet to the forward of the ship. Ensure the crane jet angle about a zero degree. Before carrying out the measurements, we need to clean the surface of the measuring points. After measurements, cover the measure surface with the lubricants. Measure the height of the mark F. Now the green chip position is in the forward of the ship. Therefore, we need to measure at the forward and the up. From this measurement, we can get the two distant H. By making the difference between the two different H, we can get the well limit WL. The allowable well limit is a 2.8 mm. And then we measure the height at the mark A. Read the measurements and record inside the tables. Don't forget to subtract the height of the gear dish. After that, 
kind of cringe it to this double side to take the measurements after then down the jet angle to the zero degree carry out the measurements at the stubble and the post side of the student bearing measure the height of the mark as and record inside the sheet after then measure the height of the mark B and record And then turn the green chip to the up of the ship for the last measurement. Down the chip of the grains to the zero degree. We need to measure at the two points half and the four of the slim bearing. Measure the height of the mark A and record. And also measure the height of the mark F. Record all the dust results in the tables for the later reference or coordinate monitoring of the stream bearing well done. Measure the height at the mark F and record. For more of you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channels. Thanks for watching.